Hello guys, what is up? Davis here. In this video, we're going to be showing you guys how to update your console to 17.5.11. Now, the, the console, actually, the dashboard, <laughs> it just uh, dropped. So, um, you know, you guys are going to want to get online and all that good stuff to mod again. So, uh, th in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to use Ninja, uh, the stealth server. Uh, you can use your stealth server if you want. I'll probably have another video later on how to switch your stealth server and stuff like that. Um, so anyway, what you're going to do, uh, the first thing you're going to do is, um, I already updated this console, but I'm going to update it again because, uh, I made a, I made the video and I just kind of left some things out. So I want to make sure I, I explain every single thing to you, to you guys. And, uh, so I'm going to have a set, I'm going to have two separate parts in one section. Uh, one of the parts are going to be updating Trinities, Jaspers, Falcons, um, Zephyrs and Xenons and Corona V1s and V3s. Uh, the Corona v V2s and V4 and up, those are 4 gigabyte Coronas. So those are going to be updated a little bit differently. So uh, I'm going to show you guys how to update both of them to, or you know, all the all of those 4 gigabyte Corona models um, in a separate part. So right now, um, you know, I got this console up and going. It just needs. Uh, it just needs a, a an Xbox Live or a, a Ninja token, and then it'll be online. And then you know it'll ask you for an update later on, and then you can update it and all that good stuff because it'll be an Avatar update. So, um, but yeah, this console's done. But I'm just gonna redo it and show you guys. And I'm gonna try not to leave anything out at all. So what you're gonna do first is you're gonna go to our removable flash drive, which is what you're gonna need. So. Um, after you do that, you're going to download these two files. Uh, let me show you what is in this one. This one has like everything you need pretty much. It has your plugins, which is what you're going to be using. And uh, it has your similar 360 NAND flasher. Now, as you know, the flash 360, 360 flash tool, I think it's called. Don't use that one because it doesn't work for 4 gigabyte Coronas. Uh, I don't even think it works for all any Coronas. I don't, I'm not really sure, but I know it doesn't work for four gigabyte Coronas. So just use this one instead. Um, so yeah, it's, it's pretty simple. It's the same exact thing, kind of. It just works better. So the, I have Dash Launch 3.18. Um, I don't think it's the official release. I got it off, uh, some other channel. And, uh, you know, it has, I updated all these files. So it has the latest, uh, Ninja. It has the ni latest Ninja update. Um, you know, it has everything you need pretty much. So, um, even if you don't have Dash Launch 3.18, it doesn't matter because once you build your NAND with this one, it'll have Dash Launch already uh, upgraded in your NAND. So, say if you have, you know, Dash Launch 3.14 or you know, anything under 3.18, it's still gonna work because uh, XE build builds Dash Launch into your NAND. So, um, it doesn't really matter what dash, dash launch you have. Um, I'm just going to supply this one. I don't think it's the official release right now. Uh, if it is, um, you know, if you're watching this video and, you know, it, it might not be the official release. I don't think it is, but I'll update the, the uh, description later on for the official, you know, dash launch if this one isn't the official. So, um, you know everything here is legit and all that stuff and I want to tell you guys if you do break your console somehow um, I do offer a, uh, a send-in service and it is uh, let me show you it's it's the unbreak your console I only charge $40 um, so yeah you fill out all that and yeah and you can send your console in to get unbricked and all that good stuff. So if you do somehow break your console, um, you know you can always send it to me to get unbricked and um, all that good stuff. So, but anyway, let's go back to our removal flash drive. And um, once you download these files, you're probably gonna get it in a RAR file, just like this. And you don't you don't really want it like that. You don't want any of these files to be in a RAR file because you're going to be putting these on your Xbox. And if you do that, then you know it's going to show up on your Xbox as a dot RAR file, and it's not going to let you open it. It's not going to let you do anything with it. So you're going to have to make it a, a folder. And how you do that 
is you're gonna right click and click extract to and then it'll extract the uh, the folders to this right here uh, if you don't have WinRAR then you can go and download it I'll have a link in the description but most likely these two folders right here are gonna be in a dot RAR file and you're gonna need to extract both of them to get them to the folder um, so once you do that let's go to our flash drive for the 20th time and um, <clears throat> I already have one set of files on here already um, so I don't really need to copy it again but you're just gonna drag and drop that right into your flash drive and then, you know it'll copy it it'll do its own thing and then all those files should be on there and um, it's, it's not a big file so yeah 400 megabytes whatever 500 megabytes so it's not it's not gonna take up a lot of room um, so then once you do that you don't need any of these other files so just ignore all those uh, all we need is the one set of file so once we get that on there you can X out of that and we're gonna go to our Xbox now so you can unplug the flash drive from your computer plug that bitch in your console and so then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to uh, games now there is going to be a certain part when I'm updating the console it's there's going to be two different parts one for uh, four gigabyte coronas and one for you know all the other normal consoles so just make sure you choose which part um, I'm going to remind you guys again here in a few minutes once we get to that part. But um, anyway, once we get to Games Discover, we're going to click RB. And it should pull us up to USB 0. Uh, if you go, if you look um, under the uh, Xbox 360 logo at the top left, you should see USB 0 under that. Uh, if it's not USB 0, then that means your USB isn't loading. So uh, I would try a different USB port or try unplugging it and plugging it back in if it doesn't load you know uh, but it should load up automatically and um, so yeah if you click what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna copy one set of files and um, so let's copy that click X now go to HDD1 and if I didn't if you don't know how to um, how to do everything uh, you can you can click back on the controller and it'll show you how to uh, copy and, and move stuff pretty much so um, yeah we can get out of that um, so let me go over that again here we're gonna click Y and copy then click X HDD1 then click Y and paste and then your one set of files should be right there and inside of there, you know, you have it, everything you, s you saw earlier. And um, the plugins, I'm going to show you guys how to put all these on your console and get everything updated. <clears throat> so, like, I already have them on my console right now, but I'm going to show you how to do it here in a few minutes. Um, so, what we're going to do now is we're going to click X and go back to USB 0. And we're going to go to one set of files. Scroll down to Simple 360 NAND Flasher, click A on that, and click again, and then click default.xex. Now it should load up to this. Uh, if you get a, if you do have a Jasper and it's like a, a big block Jasper, which is a 256 megabyte or 512 megabyte, it'll ask you for a, a huge, like a, a full dump or a, a, a half dump or, or something like that. You can just you know, it really doesn't matter which one. I think the one that says recommend it is the one you want to do. Uh, you can do either one. Just one of them is going to be bigger than the, than the other. So, uh, you know, that's up to you. Anyway, we're just going to click X, and that's going to dump our NAND. Now, if for some reason uh, you guys um, break your console, you can always rewrite the NAND through Zell if it does load up. Uh, if, if Zelle doesn't load up, then it's most likely your console isn't going to work. And you'll have to send it to someone to get fixed unless you know how to do it yourself. So this should only take about 29 seconds, usually. 
for mine it does. So yeah, 29 seconds. And you can click any button to continue. So what we have just done is we have dumped our NAND. So uh, now you can unplug your flash drive and plug it into your computer. All right guys, so this part, you're gonna need to go into the description and you're gonna need to go and click on the timeline, which, uh, which part you need to look at because there's gonna be two different sections coming up. The first one is going to be showing you guys how to update your Jasper console, Trinity console, Falcon console, and uh, Xenon and Zephyr console, uh, and even Corona V1 and V3. Uh, the second section is going to be showing you guys how to update the Corona V4 consoles, so or the Corona 4 gigabyte consoles. So you need to select which one you need to watch. You don't need to watch both of them because um, unless you have like the same con or two two different consoles um, so you need to select which one you need to watch and then uh, just go from there okay now this is on our computer we can minimize that and if we go to one set of files symbol 360 nan flasher symbol 360 nan flasher again uh, this is going to tell you the the, um, the log or whatever uh, you, you don't really need that you can delete it actually uh, what I would do right now is I would make a file of your RGH, you know. You can do it as your serial your serial number, whatever it is, or you could just say RGH, you know. Uh, whatever works better for you. I'm just going to put it as that. I need to put it as my serial number because uh, I, um, I have a lot of consoles. <laughs> but uh, let me actually change it to Here's a War because that's what the console is. And so what we're gonna do is we're going to drag and drop this file inside of there. Actually, let's let's do let's do both files. So just drag and drop those right into there, and that is gonna be our backup. So you honestly do not want to delete that file right there. That file is your dump. It's your good dump. So if you do mess up your console somehow, you'll always have that dump. And uh, you're also gonna need your CPU key, which I'm gonna show you how to get it here in a second. Um, you can boot Zell to get your CPU key or you can go to Dash Launch. I'm going to go to Dash Launch to show you how to get it. Um, so yeah, uh, what, I'm, what we're going to do is minimize that and on the uh, removable flash drive, we're going to delete these two now. Just make sure you do have a backup, please. Like, you know, that is very important. So delete those two after you saved your backup. And uh, we can close this out. And um, I'm going to show you how to get your CPU key real fast. So once we're on this screen, we can go to games, go to XEX menu. And you're basically just going to go to dash launch. So, you know, hopefully you know how to go to dash launch. I hope you do. So if you don't know how to go to dash launch, when it loads up here, click RB, one set of files, dash launch, installer, default.xex. Now your dash launch might not be in one set of files, just, you know, just find it wherever it is. Um, once we're here, you can click um, R LB, you click LB and then go to one, or go to system info. And at the top left, kind of in the middle, it'll be uh, your CPU key and we're gonna need that so let's just keep that I'm gonna move this down here okay so something else you guys need to know at the bottom right of dash launch you will see your motherboard which says Corona uh, or Trinity you know whatever your thing has and then it'll say your type which is the glitch type um, these things are very important you need to, you need to know um, I'll explain some uh, stuff later on, but just keep those in mind so you can view what uh, your console type is, what glitch type it is, and all that good stuff. And I think I think I do have a backup somewhere. It's a new folder. There it is. Um. Yeah, this one right here is a it's a B. So, um, I'm gonna make sure I save that. So, uh. This is my backup folder. I'm gonna move this one over here because I already did this one time. 
So um, what I would do is I would type the CPU key out inside of here in a notepad. So you know, just make a right click, click new, and then click text document. It'll make a folder. Then you double click on it, and it'll pull up to this. And I would type your CPU key in, and then click file and click save. You know, uh, so you have your CPU key and your dump file. So you know that's that's the two most important things that you're gonna need. Um, so since we have our CPU key right there, I have mine typed out already. So we're just gonna copy that, X out of that, and I'll move that over here. And we're gonna open up XE Build now, and this is the part where we're gonna update our console. So uh, this is the part for um, any console besides the four gigabyte Coronas. If you have a four gigabyte Corona, then skip to the next part, and uh, you know it'll show you how to do that. Um, so yeah, and then we'll go on from there. So, you know, this is for like Trinities, Jaspers, um, Falcons, Xenons, and Zephyrs, and uh, V1 and V3 Coronas, but not, v, not V2 and V4 and up. So let's go ahead and open this, run it, get X out of that. And it should open up to this. And we're gonna drag and drop our flash uh, DMP and the output path is going to be where your flash dump already was so it'll create it as a UPD flash which is going to be it's going to be back in this folder so once it creates it it'll be over here somewhere um, now something I want to explain to you guys uh, a lot of people who have a RGH 1.2 console they're going to think it's RGH 1 it's not an RGH1. A RG, it's kind of difficult to explain, but uh, RGH1.2 was made after RGH1. Uh, an RGH1.2 is actually a RGH2 install, but it just it boots faster than a RGH1 or a RGH2. So, um, but even I know it sounds really complicated, but if you have RGH1.2, just select RGH2. It's not going to mess it up. Um, as you can see there is no option for RGH 1.2 and the reason for that is because RGH 1.2 is a RGH 2 install um, it's just you know it's better uh, if you select RGH 1 and you have RGH 1.2 then it's gonna break your console it's not gonna boot up um, I know for sure because I've, I've done it one time and uh, yeah you, you're gonna have to send that to someone to unbreak it I don't even think it'll boot Zill because RGH1 and RGH1.2 are totally different so just keep that in mind you know you don't want to mess up your console uh, if you have a Trinity it's gonna load up and it's gonna say RGH1 sometimes I don't really know why it does this but it selects it it selects the Trinities as a RGH1 um, but they're not all slim consoles are RGH2 so make sure you select RGH2 if you have a slim console um, don't select RGH1 so what we're going to do is we're going to copy our CPU key. You can type it in, which I have down here. Uh, you know, don't type mine in because that's not going to work. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and paste it. And, um, you know, if you type this in, please make sure that it's correct because you don't want to generate your hacked image and then write it and it's wrong and it'll break your console. If Even if one little, um, even if one little letter or number is wrong, it's going to break it. So... You don't want that to happen. Um, if we click check KV, all this stuff should load up. Load up. So say if we had the CPU key wrong, I'm gonna do this. Click mm. click this. It's gonna say error, and that means your CPU key is not correct. So um, let me change this back. Click check, and it should pull up everything right here. So that means our CPU key is correct. What we're gonna do now is, you know, this is our dashboard over here, 17511. Um, so yeah, we have the latest dashboard already installed. And uh, something else I wanna explain, uh, after you actually write this NAND, this uh, UPD flash once we create it, and you have a slim console and the slim doesn't read disks anymore, uh, it's because you need to select disable check uh, fcrt.bin um, the reason for this is because 
some slim consoles that they have, you know, some will have missing DVD drive boards because, you know, some of us, like me, I get, I repair all my consoles. Um, I know how to repair them all. So, you know, some of them need to have a new DVD drive board for them to work again. And you have to actually disable the FCRT tech bin to get that drive to work. So, say if you write this NAND and your console doesn't read games, um, you're going to have to go through all this again and just click disable, you know, click that, and then create it and then rewrite it, and then it should read games again. Um, so, yeah, that's, just, that's something else to keep in mind. Uh, I'm just trying to cover every single thing. I know the video is going to be a little bit long, but, you know, it's to help you guys out. So, um, we're going to generate the hack image. Everything looks to be good, so... Um, since it, since I'm using a Trinity right now, and you know how it auto selected the RGH1 for I don't even know why, but uh, you know I selected RGH2. Uh, this is gonna pull up with this. It's gonna say it may not work. Uh, it is gonna work because it's a slim console, and all slims are RGH2. So, um, so yeah, it's done. If you click cancel, you can. Um, you can look at everything to make sure there's no errors or anything. It shouldn't be any errors. Um, but yeah, you can close that out now. And as you can see over here, we got our UPD flash stop bin. So what we're gonna do with that is we're gonna go back to our flash drive, go to one setup files, and go to symbol 360 NAND flasher, click on it again. And then we're going to move our UPD flash stop bin over in here. Just drag it and drop it, and it should copy pretty fast. All right, guys. So you just watched uh, section one, which is flashing uh, Trinity's Corona V1 and Corona V3, and also all fat consoles. And so the next part you need to do is um, flash your NAND and also install plugins and things like that. So go into the description now, and uh, it should say something like skip to you know, the certain time for flashing your NAND and stuff like that. And then watch that part and then you should be good to go. All right guys, so this is the four gigabyte Corona section. Uh, I just got the NAND up of our four gigabyte Corona. Uh, now reading and writing the four gigabyte Corona is gonna be exactly the same. So, um, you know, if the folders look different after I do this, uh, you know, just go along with it. It's gonna be exactly the same way. Um, I already did, if you see this folder right here, um, this is the Trinity that I just did, and we're gonna be. I, I might move a, f a file out of here and then you know put it on a flash drive or something. It's gonna be exactly the same thing, so um, it'll it'll work all the same way. So we just got the NAND dump, and so we go into our removable flash drive, one setup files, symbol 360 NAND flasher, and then symbol 360 NAND flasher again, and. Um, Here's our flash dump, and like I said before, we need to go to um, the text. We need to let me delete that. We need to make a a new folder and name it. You know, name it your serial number. Um, or you can name it your console. You just name it RGH. You know, name it whatever you want. It doesn't matter. Um, and then we're just going to drag and drop uh, these two folders right into there, or those two files, whatever you want to call it. Um, and then we're going to delete both of these after you get after you got a copy. So please make sure you do have a copy because it's very important. So uh, once we do that, um, I'm going to show you guys how to get your CPU key. So go to games, XCX menu. You can also get your CPU key by booting up Zell. And it'll be right there, you know. Um, I just, it's just easier this way since I don't have to turn my console off. Uh, click RB once you get here. Go to one setup files, dash launch, install our default.xex. And then um, you can just click cancel. Um, and then what you're going to do is you're going to click, you're going to click LB, my bad. You're going to click LB and then system info. Um, and then you got your CPU key. Now guys, at the bottom, at the bottom right, if you look at the bottom right, you can see that uh, you have your, 
your motherboard version and also your glitch type and what uh, dashboard you're actually on so um, and you can also change your fan speed right here which is what I'm going to do real fast uh, but yeah anyway that's our CPU key at the top right um, or the top left sorry and so what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to type this in here in a second so I'm going to move that down there and what we're going to do is we're going to open up XE build XE build run and X out of that now and I'm going to go ahead and um, type my CPU I'm going to type my CPU key in here actually so we're going to click new and then new text document and then we're going to type it in right here so okay guys so I'm going to double check it now just to make sure that I do have it right because this is very important it's not going to it's not going to actually tell you if the CPU key is right for 4 gigabyte Corona, so that's why you got to double check it to make sure it is it is 100% correct. Okay, guys, so it looks to be correct. Now I'm going to save it. All right, so then I'm going to copy this. You can X out of it now. X out of that, and we're going to paste this right there. And actually, I need to open that back up. My bad. And we're going to drag and drop the flash dump right here to the top. And it's going to say that um, continue anyways, click yes. We're going to switch to advanced mode and we're going to disable file safe or fail safe, my bad. And so here comes the, the fun part. Um, it's going to be a RGH2, going to be a Corona. We know that much. Because uh, all slims are RGH2. Um, we're obviously doing a 4 gigabyte Corona, so select that. And if you click Check KV, mm -hmm. it's not gonna, it's not gonna say anything. That's normal. Um, now, as I explained before, uh, some consoles, um, you know, some of them need to be repaired. What I'm trying to say is, when they do this, these repairs, they have to switch the DVD drive board. So. Um, if you write this NAND to the console and it doesn't read disk and all it says is play DVD then you have to come back and do everything all over again and you're going to have to select this it's called disableFCRT.checkbin and once you do that um, you know it should read disks again after you do that so uh, we're just going to leave it unchecked because this console that I have doesn't need, it doesn't need that you can select it if you're unsure but like it's not going to mess up anything um, we're also going to select this right here, open parameters, um, whatever that says, and we're going to click, uh, we got the latest dashboard already, XL reload it, um, you can actually change your fan speed up in here too, but uh, you don't really need to. So then we're going to uh, click generate hack image, and it's going to save that and we're gonna click yes and it should open that and we're gonna go to this I don't know why it's glitching like this but on, in new parameters we're gonna click 4G and that's that's it just uh, 4G Corona 4G which is 4 gigabytes so we're, then we're gonna click save and we're gonna click cancel because we need to review all this stuff so as you can see it, it did get the DVD key and we can we can confirm it right here down here so it did have that right so it did it got all that right uh, serial number that looks right um, my bad that's the serial number this is the serial number yeah all that looks good uh, see how we did we did do all this correctly it included dash launch. So yeah, guys, this is that you pretty much did everything correctly. Um, then we can X out of that now. If we go back in here, we should have the UPD flash stop bin. And then we're gonna need to go back into our flash drive, and we're gonna go to one setup files, 
I want to go to symbol 360 nan flasher symbol 360 nan flasher again and we're gonna drag and drop this right into there Now we can unplug this and put it in our console and write the NAND. Yo guys, what is up? So, uh, we're still in dash launch right now and you should have watched either section 1 or section 2. Section 2 would have been for Corona 4 gigabytes and section 1 would have been for all fat consoles, uh, Corona V1, V3, and Trinities. So, uh, this is the last step you gotta take. Um, hopefully you watched either one of those videos to dump your NAND and update it. And now this is the last part, which is flashing the NAND and also upgrading your, updating your plugins. So uh, we're gonna back out of this. Just click B a few times. And then we're gonna go to games, XEX menu. And we're gonna click RB and go to um, Aurora. Actually, one set of files. You're gonna go to the one set of files, Aurora, and Aurora.xex, and we're gonna update our plugins first. So hopefully, you guys are gonna be using Ninja. If not, you can use whatever other server you want to use. Um, it's pretty simple. You just put the XEX file on, on here and then set your server as plugin to and save it and reboot your console and that uh, that server should work. So it's not really hard at all. Um, so what I would recommend you do, if you have a lot of random stuff on your hard drive like XEX files and you know whatever other files you may not be using, I would recommend you to create a folder and then you know type in old or old shit, whatever you want to put, and then I'd recommend you to select all of them that you that you don't even want, like this, and then cut, and you know select dash launch and freestyle dash, because a lot of people that I see, they have a lot of stuff unorganized and uh, they're all scattered around everywhere, and like when you download one set of files, you know it has everything already organized, so uh, you can just copy. Select all those, and then go to the left and cut, and then go up to old and then paste it in there. And so yeah, then that's it. Just kind of it just kind of um, organizes everything, so it looks better. You know, you don't have to scramble through everything to find something on neighborhood. You know, so and then what we're gonna do is to update our plugins. You go to one setup files and then go to plugins and then you're gonna select all of these and you're gonna copy it and then go back like two times and then paste and then so now all those are updated now what we're gonna do is we're gonna flash our NAND so uh, we're gonna back out of here and you should have your, your flash drive plugged in or you know if it's not plugged in then plug it in so uh, let's try to get this in here so I got that in there, it should update pretty quick. So yeah, here it is. And then we're gonna go, to flash our name, we're gonna go to one set of files. Symbol 360 NAND flasher, simple NAND flasher again. And there's our UPD flash that we just put on our uh, flash drive. Then we're gonna go to default.xex. And it should load up this, and we're gonna click A, and then click start, and it'll flash the NAND. And it should only take about 30 seconds. Uh, depending on what kind of console you have. It could take up to um, like two minutes for uh, big block Jaspers. That only took 15 seconds. And the console should restart. Uh, actually, no, my bad. Uh, for Coronas, I would recommend you to unplug it and then plug it back in because they're kind of weird sometimes. So I'm gonna unplug mine, plug it back in. Uh, unplug your flash drive, by the way, and then turn it on. 
And when you load it up, it should, it might actually reboot one time, and that means it's setting the plugins. And there you go, guys, it's it started up, so that means that we didn't mess anything up, and it actually did turn off, which means it set the plugins, and it'll be loading back up now, soon, whenever it wants to. There it goes. And then hopefully we should get granted with the uh, ninja ran out of time thing. And there we go, guys. So uh, basically we are online. If, if I had a ninja token right now, it would disable um, live block and live strong. And then I'd be able to go online, but I don't have a ninja token. So, uh, yeah, guys, I'm going to just show you I'm on the latest dashboard. And so, yeah, guys, we're all, we're pretty much online. Once you actually get online and, you know, you connect to Xbox Live and everything is good, it'll grant you, it'll pop up with a avatar update. It'll say, um, you know, it'll say system update available. And that's, you know, that's perfectly normal. It's fine to update. All you got to do is just update it and then... Um, you'll be online and you'll be good to go so uh, yeah guys I hope you really enjoyed this video I'm sorry it, it's such a long video but I just needed to detail everything so you guys have a great night peace out